Hi, everybody. Hi. It's Kim and Riz uh, for our Live in English Now. So uh, welcome back. Um, today, we're going to be discussing the smallest CPAP, the ResMed Air Mini. So last week, uh, we went into the details of how you can use uh, your CPAP uh, with uh, travel CPAPs. Uh, we didn't go in all details with the Air Mini, but we had explained uh, the possibilities with different batteries. So how to use your CPAP out of the bedroom. So this week, we want you to show you how you can make traveling so much easier. Right, Chris? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's begin. Uh, please show us the smallest, oh, okay. tiniest CPAP in the world. Hold on, Kim. Let me just take it out of my purse. <laughs> Hold on. So that's, that's not funny. it. That's the cell phone. <laughs> so all that to say is I'm able to fit so many things in my purse and still fit the Air Mini. Look at how small and tiny that is. So if you're if you're curious, it actually just weighs four, 301 gram. Imagine. So that's about a can of uh, soda. Now, obviously, you need your cables. So with your power supply, it goes up to 501. Yeah. And even that is still very light. My gosh, yes. Um, as for dimensions, it's 5.4 5 by 3.3 and, and yeah. 2.1. So it's very tiny. I mean, if I compare it to the iPhone 11, clearly the iPhone 11 is bigger than the uh, Air Mini. And because it's made for travel, uh, what's fun is that it's FAA approved, which means that it's safe to use on the airplane. So for though I know there's no traveling by air right now, but once we get the chance, um, if you want to visit Asia, the Philippines, for example, that's a very long flight. So it's actually safe to use uh -huh. your Air Mini. So don't be that passenger that keeps everyone awake <laughs> during a 16-hour flight. Use your seatbelt. Don't be that person, Don't be guys. that yeah. <laughs> So that, that's good. Okay, so what does the Air Mini come with? So when you buy the Air Mini, yes. so right here, it's packaged this way. It opens up. Ugh. That way so in there you have the air mini itself um, it also comes with the manual it comes with a power supply so again the box makes it look big but it's actually very light and tiny so like I said if you combine the two of them together it comes up to 501 grams and then it comes with a free string bag to log it around um, so you'll notice that the Air Mini, the reason why it's so light and so tiny is that there, it's not equipped with a heated humidifier like a home CPAP would be. So instead of a heated humidifier, it comes with uh, a puck or a filter. Um, it's actually called the Humid Dex or the Humid X Plus. So in the medical world, it's known as a heat and moisture, HME, heat moisture exchanger. So how that works is that little puck or that HME filter is in line. So it's between the patient and the CPAP, it's on the circuit. So on the exhalation phase, um, it actually absorbs the heat and the humidity from our body. Okay. That way, when we're taking a breath in, it actually recycles it back. Okay. That's so you're not breathing dry and cold air. After a couple of breaths, it becomes pretty, it's like a sponge. So it becomes saturated with heat and uh, moisture. So you're breathing a more humidified air. And because there is no actual water, first of all, it's easier to transport. And to be honest, when we go down south, we don't have distilled water is not easily. Imagine when you're big jobs. Mm, no. you don't want to, Unless no. you want to build muscle, but I mean, <laughs> usually when we're going traveling, we just want to relax. Yes. And so, like I said, it's safe to use on planes. So with the HME filter, you're actually not producing any droplets. Yes, it's so true. So you're not contaminating such an enclosed area. So it's actually more sanitary and safe. Oh, that's good. And plus, the good side of not bringing water is you won't spill any in the plane. No. You have to spill water in the plane. <laughs> Don't be the snorer. <laughs> Don't be the one making a mess. Yeah. And this is very ingenious from Resman. I think it's because I think it's the uh, it's it's fun to know that you can also get the possibility to have humidity uh, with it's a recycling thing. I think it's just great. And it's actually very commonly used at the hospital. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's a it's it's a good alternative to a heated humidifier. Okay. 
So there you go. So if for whoever's joining us today, right now, uh, what we're going through today, as promised, uh, we are talking about the Air Mini, uh, the compatibilities of the different masks that are available with the Air Mini, the pros and cons, and uh, inside information about the Air Mini. So now, Riz, what are the accessories available for this Air Mini? Yes. So, I mean, I would put it in my purse, <laughs> but I don't think man will be wanting to just, travel with a purse. I'm put it in my pocket. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, there are travel cases available. So this is a bigger size travel case. Uh, in this case, you can actually fit everything you need for yeah. your travel sleep app. So the air mini, the table, the tube, and the mask. Uh, but some people want to just put rather protect the air mini yeah so it's a little bit like a uh, case for your glasses it's a hard shell so for those who are going uh travel you keep this in your purse and the rest so you want to travel lighter you can put in your luggage mm -hmm. so check that in um so you have that we also have the dc, uh, the DC converter right here so again, we went over this last week. So if you're somebody who wants to go camping, if you're a truck driver, I know a lot of my truck driver patients like this uh, because every truck has a cigarette outlet. Okay, uh, the you have filters, uh, Humidex filters. Now just to let you know the Humidex filters, it comes in two versions, you have the Humidex and then the Humidex Plus. The Plus gives you more humidity. So for somebody who has a lot of dryness, this is an option for you. Um, these have to be replaced every 30 days. And I'm not talking about 30 days of usage. It's 30 days of once open. opening the filter and exposing it to air. So like I said earlier, it, it's a bit like a sponge that it absorbs humidity. So it also absorbs humidity from your room. And so that's why it has a shelf life. Of so it's days. constantly uh, absorbing. So, yes. you have so to once saturated, it. it's no longer useful. And it does say uh, on the, when you take the puck out, it does say it must be changed after 30 days of opening. So it's very uh, important exactly. to do that. Uh, there's also the air filters that need to be replaced. Um, we'll go over that later. And uh, there are tubes that could be sold separately. And not to forget last week's live, but Air Mini is, does not have a specific battery design for it. Resume does not have a battery for it, but it is compatible with the Medistrome. So if you were there last week, then you know that you would need the Medistrome 24. 24 which is compatible with your air mini and just that. so you know when you buy the pilot 24 the cables are come with it so the cables for the air mini are in the box of the so you don't have to buy extra cables everything is in the pilot 24 in there as shown on our last slide yes yes so that's good you have a lot of accessories i mean filters humidex the tubes um I, I have to, i have to say there has to be i mean it's just the smallest cpap there has to be some kind of Perfect. limitations yeah there is there limitations yes. with this unfortunately yes. kim there are some limitations and this is due to how specific the tube was made um resmed made it so that it's not like a regular tube you're, you're used to seeing it's it has its own specific adapter that attaches to the air mini. in other words you cannot use yeah. any other and tubing yeah and also because of that hme filter it needs a specific casing for it yeah. and because of that there are only a small number of masks available or compatible with the air mini so that's that would be the limitation. that is the biggest limitation in the air mini so air mini is actually the only cpap that that is not universal in, in terms of compatibility with masks because every other CPAP is compatible with every other, other masks. Yes. Uh, so then if that's the case, which masks are compatible with the Air Mini? So I did say it's a small amount of number, but what's great is they made sure that there's one in each category. Yes, which is actually they thought well because yeah. uh, everybody's different. <laughs> so the first, let's go over the pillow mask. So you have the P10. So you'll notice that when I had opened the Air Mini kit, it did not come with a tube. Yeah. Because the tubes are sold in the kit. 
So even if you're already a P10 user, P10 pillow mask, you still have to purchase yes. the kit because of this specific this specific adapter right here that's exactly where your hme or your humid humidex filter attaches to yeah so you have to purchase the whole kit that includes yes. the mask the mask it. is already even included. if you have that mask you must buy the kit for the first time exactly and similar to that is the n30 this is actually a new feet added mask they didn't have this in the past so that's the n30 right here it's the it's a cradle mask that just sits under your nose so again, with this one, even if you already own this mask, you, have, you still yeah. have to buy this kit because of the specific um, uh, yeah, the connector. connector. And again, this one has the full mask in there. So the, uh, the P10 and N30 have the masks in it. So the whole kit is there. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so these come complete with their mask. Yeah. Um, in the nasal mask, uh, you also have the N20, uh, so compatible with the AirFit and AirTouch series. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're using the N20, you don't have to buy, use your current mask and just buy this kit right here. Yeah. So if you're familiar with the N20, it's this one here. Yeah. Right Attach there. here yeah. is where you're going to have your Humidex <laughs> right here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah. Our screen is mirrored. So. Yeah. So this one is only the tube. The mask is not included. It's just the tube and, and the, the connector. Pucks. Yeah, and the pucks. Okay. In the full face masks, you have two options as well. You have the F20 right here. Covers the nose and the mouth. Again, available in the AirFit mm -hmm. and in the AirTouch series. So with this, if you already own this mask, you simply have to buy the tubing. Mm -hmm. There you okay. go because the connector is right there. And the same thing for the F30. So this one is compatible with the F30 and the F20. F20. Everything is on our website. So if ever you need, whatever you need is there. We have also yes. good bundles. So on our website, we have the explanation and also on, the, uh, on this slide right now, there are links that you can uh, click on. It's gonna bring it directly to our travel um page yes so you are limited to five masks but what's great is at least you have one in each category of masks so um well that's, that's good to know so you're a bit limited in a way uh so the air mini sounds too good to be true there has to be some kind of... yes of course there are some cons or some negative points to it so but before we go through that, let's stay a bit positive let me just go over the positive points so like i said the air mini is made for travel so having said that it is light and tiny um it's faa approved so safe for your flights um it has similar comfort features as it's um as the Air Sense 10, which is the equivalent of the home CPAP. So you have the auto on and off, you have the ramp, you have the EPR uh, feature. It's waterless. So no, no more That's logging fine. water with yeah. you, right? Uh, so, but this is the alternative. You do need the Humidex filter mm -hmm. or the Humidex Plus filter. Again, yeah, 30 days only. Yeah, very uh, little maintenance. So the only thing you have to change is the air filter. And just to go over that quickly, uh, Resume's recommendation is to change it every six months. Yeah, time. six months. Um, or sooner if it's, it's soiled. Personally, I think I would change it between travels. I mean, if I'm traveling, if I'm in an airplane, the I think yeah. I would want to change it a little bit more often. And uh, uh, the Air Mini is able to be configured in CPAP fixed pressure or APAP, which is an auto variable pressure. So that has to do with your prescription. And lastly, it has Bluetooth. So you can actually download an application on your phone and uh, and you can trend the results, the quality of your sleep on your phone. So that's something fun. Yeah, it is. And we are the air of technology. Everybody's yes. on their phone. So it's really yeah. fun to have. Exactly. So there, so let's go over the negatives. Yes, and no, these the are the things that I like the least about the, the um, air, mini. air mini. And I think it's also what patients 
really yes. tell us. Yes, about and this topic. is and th these are real, and we're being honest. Or these these are true. Um, yeah. By experience, also. So one, the fact that you're limited to five masks. Okay, so for me, yeah, right. If you're not already a user of any of those five masks, you will have to go through an adaptation period to get used to those masks. Um, it is not. There's no specific battery for it, but the Pilot Twenty Four is available. It's compatible with it. I just um, love that combo. It's the perfect combo yeah. for travel. Look, I'll talk to you like this. It's not even heavy. <laughs> um, there is no heated humidifier. Humidifier, like I said, the alternative is the Humidex. But just like I said, it's a sponge. So you have to change it every three months. Yeah, 30, 30 days. 30, 30 yeah. days, sorry. 30 days. And I'm going to be honest, it can get a very expensive uh, compared to buying water. Yeah. That would be a con for that air me. Yes. Um, if you're using it like all the time. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. A lot of insurance companies, now this is what we hear from our patients. There are some insurance companies that do not cover the uh, travel CPAP because it's considered as a luxury to own a travel CPAP. Yeah, most of, well, I've heard that too from patients. Uh, for first time users, uh, they probably will not be covered for the air mini because it's more of a luxury CPAP than a real, uh, well, the convenience CPAP. Yeah, home CPAP, yeah. yeah. Um, it could get a bit louder than a home CPAP. So, I mean, you are dealing with something smaller, so there's a compromise there alone. But also, the where the connection is from the um, Humidex, it could get, uh, you'll have a whistling sound. So that's something to um, consider if you sleep with a partner. And uh, it has three-year warranty versus five-year warranty on a regular CPAP. And lastly, I don't know if you noticed, but there is no screen on the Air Mini. That's because you need a phone mm -hmm. and not just any phone, you need a smartphone to access any comfort setting or even to just trend your sleep. In fact, for the clinicians who are listening, you also need a smartphone to configure your Air Mini. So if you have that old Nokia, time to put that to rest. Time to put those to rest. So for those who are just joining us now, uh, today we're talking about the Armini as promised from our last live. So we're going through the entire uh, pros and cons that we just did. Um, we went through the compatibility of each mask. We don't have, you're limited in a way. Uh, there's only five masks that are compatible. And now um, the question that I have for you is, is would you recommend uh, either a first time user or somebody that would use this uh, all the time, an all time, all the time, every night uh, CPAP? If you're for if if you're starting CPAP for the first time, that means you just got your diagnosis. The respiratory just gives you a prescription. Go get a CPAP. I would not recommend the air meeting for the very same reasons of uh, for the same reasons that I for its limitations. One, you only have five masks available for it, and for somebody who's starting for CPAP for the first time, you want to open that window of being able to try all of Having them. Having more possibilities, yeah. More options. Um, if you were there on our first live, we spoke about how humidity is a comfort setting and with CPAP, comfort is everything. So I did say the Humidex is a good alternative, but it's not as, it won't give you the same level of humidity as a heated humidifier. So again, if we're talking about comfort, you're much more because comfortable. You can't really adjust this. No. So as a CPAP, you can, right? Yes. With, with the CPAP humidifier, you can adjust level of humidity, you can adjust temperature, um, more options, again. Um, also, um, you can't access any of these settings. So I, I teach my patients how to access comfort because you know your comfort yourself. So you will have to be able to adjust that. And um, again, it might be a bit noisier. So again, for somebody who's starting for the first time, I, I do not suggest you get a travel sleep app. It's actually not recommended. But for somebody who's retired, who already owns a sleep app for 20 years and goes to travel for half of a year why not but you do have to uh know 
like I said, the disadvantages of this. But somebody that doesn't use their humidifier, I mean, that could be a really good option. It sure. could be a very good option. But then again, selecting your mask, you have to be within your yeah. five options. Yeah. Uh, the noise level, um, th th that's one of the main complaints I get. It depends how sensitive you are to noise. Um, but that's something common that I get from my patients. Okay. So that's good. It's good to know. I, I, I mean... You know, like you, we wouldn't recommend uh, this CPAP to a new time user. Uh, so for who the people that are joining us right now, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, so we went through the Air Mini, uh, the pros and cons, the pros, so light, easy to bring around. Yes. Perfect combo for um, travel CPAP. Um, you know, the technology, using it with your iPhone, no water. Airplanes. Uh, airplane. It's fun to use. Uh, the cons, you know, like there's just a three-year warranty versus a five-year warranty. Noise level. It's a little more noisier than... Um, it could be noisy depending on your exhalation. So we went through the pros and cons. Uh, all around, it is a really uh, good CPAP. A very good CPAP. Yes. For a travel CPAP, it's, it's fantastic. The combination is fantastic. Uh, like you had mentioned, for people that are starting their, their treatment, might not be the best option, no. and we wouldn't recommend it either. No. 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 So that's it. That's, there you have it. Uh, everything you need to know about the Air Mini is uh, in this video. So there's no more excuses, guys, uh, <laughs> for you to have a good night's sleep without being in your own room. Yes. I mean, you have this combination, you can sleep perfectly fine on a plane, perfectly fine camping. Uh, there's many options for you with the Air Mini. Yes. Um, all of these products, as mentioned, they're all available on their yeah. website. Um, if you're not comfortable doing purchases online, if you're local to one of our clinics, then you can come see us, give us a call, and we'll guide you through your purchase. Yeah, and even if you do not have a compatible a, a compatible mask, we will help you uh, with the five available. Like the we five will point. match yeah, you with exactly. the closest That's mask. <laughs> We will match it with the closest mask to whatever you're using right now. Yeah. Like I said, that's one of the great things. They have one in each category. Yeah, so least. at least they we, they have uh, more options. The patients have more options. And one thing, guys, don't forget uh, for any purchases that you guys are doing uh, until the 23rd of June, uh, you win the uh, Lumen. So you have the possibility. We're going to do the draw on the 23rd. So no matter what, you will be automatically in the draw for any purchases that you guys do of $100, $150 and more. And this is no matter where you are in Canada. This is Canada-wide, we will ship it to you. Yes, we will. We will <laughs> ship it to you. And also, uh, you guys need to come back with us next week. It will be a very interesting topic. I mean, uh, overall benefits of staying physically active on your body, your mind, but also on your sleep. We're going to have a special uh, special guest to answer some of your questions. She's a personal trainer, fitness trainer. She's a, t a fitness tr teacher. So uh, she's going to give us information and also answer questions if we have any. So you guys prepare yourself uh, for questions. We will be able to answer them. And it's, um, it's going to be a good life. I'm, I'm very excited for that one. But don't wait till Thursday because Friday, yes. tomorrow, uh, we're actually going to give you a tour of our Vaudreuil Clinic. That's where I work. That's where I see my patients. I'm a respiratory therapist. Um, so join us tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. We will give you the tour of our Vaudreuil Clinic. Yes, you guys are going to you're gonna like it. It's a beautiful clinic and it's going to be worth the tour. <laughs> yes. And you get to see me, unfortunately, for a second time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, we don't have any questions right now, but uh, all of this will be saved. So you can re uh, you can watch, watch it. it back on our Facebook, on our YouTube station also. And I wish you guys all a beautiful weekend. It's actually a long weekend, so it's supposed to be beautiful and sunny. Get your garden started. Yes. It's time. <laughs> yes. And uh, enjoy the weather, enjoy the new restrictions, the lifted restrictions, have fun this summer, and you guys need to take plan your, your travels. Outdoors. Starting soon, you'll be able to travel. Plan it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, good night. Take care. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.